these people. Their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. I am proud. <laughs> I was simply too foolish to realize it until you changed my perspective. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall, so we can talk in private. Let's go. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I hadn't thought of it that way, but you're absolutely right. I usually come up here to mull over some of the heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. Good, because I have a lot to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Maybe, but for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear.
I suppose. Well, if that's true, this challenge is wearing me down. Yeah, sure. And who wants to take on that responsibility? You? Wait a moment. That's exactly what you're saying, isn't it? Sorry, I, um, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. I can't imagine being in love with anyone else. So, if you're willing to make the leap, I'm ready to do the same. You're something truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel... complete. <laughs> And with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. I have something I need to discuss with you. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Yeah, you know, one of those luxury liner journeys that shows off binary stars, gas nebulas, asteroid fields. <laughs> Pretty photogenic stuff. Apparently, it's my... Ah, oh, that's right. I haven't really spoken about her to you, have I? My mother lives in a fairly remote location, so we rarely speak. Tends to keep her out of my mind. Good. When I say that to most people, they look at me like I'm crazy. I don't think they realize how much control parents can exert on your life, especially when their dreams conflict with your own. Oh, I'm certain they felt they were doing the right thing. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department, without bothering to ask. Hmm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. You have to understand, this was my first time I was alone on another world. Now don't get me wrong, Jemison is an amazing place, but for me, it was the old neighbor. Mars was like a... a new frontier. Oh, I spent every waking moment I could exploring the planet. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Yes, I was proud of myself. For a while. You see, my father was... killed. During the opening shots of the colony war. 
I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. It's fine. I'm fine. I promise. No matter how difficult my life's been, it doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that you're here with me right now. Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. <laughs> you mean that? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I swear, I'll love you until forever itself ends. Ah, I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. You know, I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you, right here beside me.